This is the Creative Metallics Plus. There's no shortage of Bluetooth speakers on the market, but uh, no... Hmm, someone's been drawing on this. Uh, no name uh, restores more faith than creative whenever it comes to sound, uh, computery sound in particular. The, the, the makers of the Sound Blaster over the years uh, are selling audio hardware as well. And I have one other speaker that I have unboxed on this channel before. I love it, but thankfully they've sent me over their Metallics Plus, which is a, a new £45 uh, Bluetooth stereo speaker that uh, should prove to have some pretty excellent sound, I'd like to think. Okay, so in fairly simple packaging, uh, this uh, is just a a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, inside we have, love this, spread the word and get a Bluetooth speaker or pair of Bluetooth headphones for free. Hey, nice. Uh, we have a little instruction panel, uh, manual here which details the uh, the word, right, the buttons and the functions. We have the speaker on the top here which we will look at in a second. Elsewhere in the box we have, oh, clearly labelled, charging cable and quick start guide, quick, yeah, quick start guide, uh, which is actually a worldwide warranty. Over this side we have another uh, thing, safety and regulation information, blah 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 blah, and then here we have, <laughs> so we ever, never have to go in there again. Uh, a charge cable, which is micro USB, but still very handy. I'm. We have moved on to USB Type C, but for this sort of thing, I'm quite happy to carry on with micro USB because we have millions of these cables knocking around our homes all over the world. So the speaker is a lot smaller than I actually imagined from the pictures and things like that. I thought it was a, it was quite a beefy speaker. Uh, it comes in a protective rubberized bag. And there it is, uh, plasticky on the front and smooth rubberized material around the sides and on the bottom. And it all looks very nice. It's, it's quite a stylish little blaster. So on the top here, we have the power button. We have the Bluetooth button. We have play pause. We have a minus button and a plus button. There's a, looks like a, a hole there for a microphone and an LED. Then round this side, I'm speculating this is now waterproof because we have a, a door here for the auxiliary in and the USB charging port. Now this does not take a micro, U, or micro SD card uh, as the previous model that we looked at does. So it's a, a wee step down maybe in that respect. But uh, to be quite honest, does anyone ever use micro SD card slots in speakers anymore? I don't think so. It's designed purely for streaming from your phone or your Bluetooth device. Okay, so we'll have a go. Before we uh, pair her up, it's worth mentioning that creatives say that this has a battery life of up to 24 hours of play, which is pretty significant whenever you think about it. It's got custom tuned, powerful acoustics with enhanced bass. So hopefully it'll sound really good for 45 pounds. It, it can go either way where it's just a wee bit thin, but uh, it's creative. So let's, let's hope it, it really delivers the goods. And it's got IPX5 certified water resistance, so it'll go nicely in the bathroom. <laughs> it features Bluetooth 4.2 and weighs, well, actually, it does feel a wee bit heavy. It's a 385 grams, but then that's that big battery inside it that's weighing it down. And I think people will quite happily overlook a little extra weight for 24 hours of playback. 
We have stereo pairing as well, which means you can hook up two at the same time for you to set at different ends of the room. And then the microphone on the top allows you to use Siri or Google Now or whatever uh, to activate your smart assist. So there should be a bit of power in it. We'll turn her on. We have some sound. Pairing mode. Waiting for device to connect. And it comes up as Creative Metallics Plus. We now have connected. And we're going to play something that we don't get slapped with copyright for. The Tech Addicts Podcast. The last one that we did in November of 2017. Might come back someday soon. We hit play. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so we had it sped up a wee bit there, but we'll we'll give it a go now because this is music, speech, all that kind of thing. It's a pretty good test and it's a very high kilobyte rate. It's the 8th of November and this is Tech Addicts. This week, Ricky's got a new iPhone. He also has a new Xbox One X. The Razer phone's been launched. I got a router from D-Link, and we identify four phones you could buy for the price of the iPhone 10. Hello. Okay, sound-wise, it's fantastic. Uh, I turned it up, qu not not quite to the top there, and there was a decent amount of sound coming out of it. There was quite a bit of vibration as well from the bass. It sounded a bit poorer whenever it was set on the table, but uh, that's, a, that's an obvious drawback for any speaker that's sitting on a wooden uh, surface. When held up, it sounded gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to go and put this through its paces and see how well it does, and we'll have a review on the website in a couple of weeks, just to let you know how damn good it is because initial impressions are very high i'm liking this it's small it's waterproof and it's going to be coming with me pretty much everywhere i go now i think because with battery life the way it is we're not going to have to worry about charging this for a good long time all right if you have any questions let me know in the comments box down below hit that subscribe button give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy and other than that take care